Morning class, these are diapers. You're gonna wanna put those on because when I tell you about this game, you are gonna shit your pants. This is Watch Dogs Legion. London has fallen and it's up to you to take it back. There are nearly nine million characters out there and every single one of them is playable. Shit your pants. That's right. What about non-playable characters? NPCs, not worried about those. Okay, this game we're gonna focus on A, P, C. All playable characters where every C can be peed. So say I wanted to recruit a florist to choke a corrupt police officer with his own entrails. Could I do that? Sorry, are you, uh, are you in the right class? Yeah, I'm Barb. I'm a big Watch Dogs fan. I just didn't know that you could play all the characters oh, in You it. can, because you can be like a bartender, a bus driver, a hooligan. If you like can walk up to them, you can become them. Uh, I'm sorry, do you have a video game instructor credential? I, uh, I don't. Uh, no, uh, uh, no, you don't. All right, now, I asked some of you to complete missions last night. Let's hear about those. Aiden, now you can talk. Okay. I know, you're so excited. <laughs> All right, let's hear about your mission. I had to take out this enemy general who was like holed up in this heavily like fortified compound. And so I recruited this awesome badass hacker named Victoria to take them out. And I also had like a spider bot as a backup. And then we took over one of the Sentinel drones and then I just rode out on a drone and dropped a payload from above. It was awesome. Hold on a second. So you're, you're telling me that you were able to control not only a drone, but spider bots as well at the same time? Really? Well, the spider bots uh, are AI, so they just kind of control no, themselves. No, the spider bots are AI, so they just kind of control themselves. Yeah, you beat the bad guy. Whee! You're cocky. Everyone knows it. See me after class. All right, Barb, let's get a little maturity back in the room. Let's hear about your mission. Sure, okay. Well, I recruited this sharp-dressed college professor for an infiltration mission who just happened to be a former MI6 agent, and I'll tell you what, it was a godforsaken bloodbath. I mean, I opened up these fucking fascists like, like sardines, you know? Yeah, I took out a bunch of armed guards, and then I went hand-to-hand -hand with a Glock 19, and I shattered this fella's clavicle, and I broke his arm, and then I turned to his friend, and I unloaded a full clip into his pelvis. They were both like ground beef by the end of it. Uh, Barb, I gotta tell you, that... That got my blood pumping. Oh, really? <laughs> really. Really? Really. Really. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, Todd, mm. you're next. Okay, so uh, I recruited this old chick named Ethel, and I stole this big-ass red bus to do this getaway mission, but then I was getting chased and I got stuck in an alley. Todd, there's a ton of incredible cars in this game. There's fast cars, you've got souped-up smart cars that have autopilot mode. Why the hell are you getting a bus for a getaway mission? Well, I didn't know how many people needed to get away. I tried to move it with a grenade launcher, but I blew it up accidentally. And I blew up Ethel, too. Yeah, well, we can see what you did, Todd. And, uh, well, she is gone forever. Doesn't she just respawn in the load screen? Anyone is playable. But that also means they are all dieable. As in permadeath. As in she is gone. As in you killed her. But Ethel had a family. Yeah, she had a family, but she doesn't anymore because she is dead because of you. And that is now for you to deal with for the rest of your life. Okay, everybody, that's class. That's all for today. Next week is a, a group lesson. We're gonna do co-op gameplay. Co-op gameplay, any questions about that? Am I going to jail? Maybe, you might. Okay guys, great session. For extra credit, I want you to watch the gameplay walkthrough.
it run there for a while. Now it's all right. Bombings. And people thrown in cages like animals. Oh, and who could forget the killer robots everywhere? So yeah, that's all gone a bit shit. It's up to us to take our city back. Thing is, we can't do it alone. We need to recruit a resistance. I know what you're thinking. Where do we start? Open your eyes and take a look around. Look here. Look at him. No, not him. Him. Former MI5. Duty never ends. He can get anywhere and erase anyone. See her? Let's kick those bastards out of London. She got kicked out of Oxbridge Robotics School for teaching him to uh, reproduce. And that fella over there? Proper belly. Come on, come at me. He'll crack your skull just for looking at funny. This had better be fucking good. And allow me to introduce you to the deadliest of the lot. She's not old, she's experienced. Like I said, you can recruit anyone, and I mean bloody anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them, recruit them, build the resistance. Let's unfuck this world. London, greatest city in the world. Well, used to be. Now it's a right mess. Government's fucked off. Extremists are grabbing power. Organized crime slicing up the boroughs. The war dogs are out. And freedom's a bloody joke. But this ain't their London. This is our London. And there's a new power growing. It's all of us, together. We're building a resistance, one recruit at a time. What's my favorite operative up to this evening? And no, I never say that to the others. Scouting talent, Bagley. So gob shut, eyes peeled, yeah? I have no eyes, and if I did, I wouldn't peel them. Bloody drones are everywhere, kicking our fucking teeth in lately. Then I recommend you recruit someone who can deal with drones. Brilliant. Never would have thought of that. Oi! You're clear. Sod off. All right. Easy. I'm complying. Hmm. Impressive skill set. Sure, but we need a drone expert, Raj, not a shit kicker. File that one away for later. Well now. Jimmy Shaw. No formal engineering training, but he has several mischief charges for hijacking Albion drones. Hold still. Fuck you, man. You got no right. Fuck you now. We find our drone expert and he's about to get himself nicked. Fuck this. Dead set. Get out of here. Escalate if you don't. Oh, just ignore me. Prepare to be 
dogs are dying. to feed the birds here. Now they're all bloody machines. Get used to it. In the long march of progress, everything dies eventually. Eventually, even you, Bagley, I'm sure. Now there's my Helen. Speaking of death, you'll never guess what just happened to Ian. Oh, for God's sake, Bagley, a little respect. Then let's finish what he started. He was working on a new recruit, a drone expert. That's promising. What do we know about him? Albion scanned Jimmy just before Ian was killed. I should be able to predict his next move from that data. Unfortunately, his records are locked up tighter than your compression stockings. Are they now? The files you stole indicate that Jimmy's gone to Camden Market. Let's get someone over there, Bagley. Chop, chop. Ready for some action, Naomi? Always. But this recruit better be worth all the trouble. According to the Scotland Yard records, Jimmy's sister was killed by Clan Kelly. We believe he's seeking his revenge inside Camden Market. Camden Black Market, you mean? Yes, the Kellys are rumoured to run all sorts of illicit goods out of the old stables. Some with fingers and toes. If he's gone in there alone, he's in big trouble. The Kellys have this place on full lockdown. Hmm, I have an idea. Today, everything's all fine and dandy. It's hard to Now, Naomi, we've already lost one operative, so try not to get killed, or we'll be in the red for the day. Copy that. Is this a meme? This better be a joke or I'm saying. <laughs> ah, cannabis and fentanyl, together at last through the miracle of genetics. <laughs> the Kellys are moving loads of weapons out of here. Not your typical back alley shanks. Stables. It's human trafficking. Found Jimmy. Cheeky shit. Fuck you. And here we thought he might be in some sort of trouble. So, um, how are you gonna get him out of there? Lots of hugs and kisses. Ah! Reinforcements are converted. 
Searching on your position. On your feet, mate. Well, wait, wait a minute. Are you dead sick? Hope you're sharper than you look. Jesus Christ! Someone help me beat these dead sick pricks! We showed those fucks, didn't we? We almost died out there tonight. Look, thanks for helping me, but I can handle myself. Right. You think you're better off alone. You think everyone else has given up and there's no one to trust. That's what they want you to think, and that's how they'll take us, one at a time. It doesn't have to be that way. Together, we can change things. Wait. What happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. Fuck it. Welcome to DeadSec, James. Yeah. Okay, so... Where do I go to meet the rest of the crew? You don't need to go anywhere. Look around you. Everyone has a reason to fight, and DedSec is open to anyone. Anyone? Welcome to the Resistance.